Since its release in 2009, the open-world sandbox game Minecraft has slowly grown in popularity. Minecraft's recent recovery has also benefited from increased awareness provided by high-profile channels such as PewDiePie. However, those who haven't played might be astonished by how frightening the simple building simulator is. Here are 10 scary things you can do in Minecraft. Number 1. Terrifying Skeleton Horses In Minecraft, the day-night cycle is crucial to a player's survival experience. During daylight hours, you can only wander so far from a safe location before being caught out in the open at night. This is especially true when the sun sets and you're stuck in a creeper-infested jungle. However, scary things can be found even during the day. Sleep, as experienced players know, can help them get through the monster-filled nights. However, the only other time players can sleep is during thunderstorms. This is due to the fact that horrors can occur during these meteorological anomalies as well. If lightning strikes a horse during a thunderstorm, it will cremate. Number 2. Minecraft's Terrifying Paintings For many Minecraft players, having a well-designed interior has become a badge of honor. Several YouTube videos demonstrate amazing buildings with intricate designs. Minecraft has a number of pre-made artworks that may be used to assist people with decorating. While some of them appear to be harmless, others are downright disturbing. Nachi's then brother-in-law, Christopher Zetterstrand, painted every single painting in Minecraft in real life. The images were pixelated and thrown into Minecraft as decorations for players to utilize in their designs once he painted them. Some of the paintings on display are simply fragments of what Zetterstrand created, while others are so pixelated that the originals are unrecognizable. Number 3. The Creepy Woodland Mansions The opponents in Minecraft, as terrifying as they are they only appear at night, offering you a small reprieve. Villagers, on the other hand, are unpredictable opponents who can appear out of nowhere and completely demolish a player's city. While taking on a raid by yourself may be too daunting for some players, there are other options for dealing with your villager issues. Players can identify the woodland homes by purchasing a woodland map from a cartographer. These mansions are massive, intimidating constructions that hold dozens of villagers, as well as all of the nightmare monsters you'll encounter during the night. The tenants of these wooded homes, though, aren't the most terrifying thing you'll come across. Number 4. Terrifying Shafts from an Abandoned Mine Some Minecraft biomes are so uncommon that many casual players are unaware of their existence. One of these is the Badlands Biome. These biomes are magnificent to look at, with colorful terracotta layers and mines as far as the eye can reach. The only drawback to their unusual beauty is the creepy atmosphere created by the countless abandoned mine shafts discovered there. The spiderwebs and monster spawners that strew these biomes turn an otherwise fascinating journey into a horror story. If abandoned mine tunnels weren't scary enough, two players decided to go all out and investigate one. These guys found themselves in what can only be described as a bizarre situation while playing on a custom-made terrain. Number 5. Secret Rooms Under Igloos Ice Plains Biomess, like the Batlands Biomess, are rather uncommon in Minecraft. These frozen landscapes can be a surprise site for any gamer in a world where deserts and woods abound. Among other things, they have igloos that aren't found anywhere else. But no matter how inviting and comfortable these igloos appear, they conceal a deadly secret beneath their flooring. Players will locate a trapdoor inside the igloos that will lead them deep into the ground. A bizarre collection of sights can be seen in the area at the bottom of the seemingly endless tunnel. In one corner, an apple chest may be found, and a brewing stand can be located on a table. The strangest thing, though, is that in this room are the two cages on the far side of the enclosure. In one cage, a normal villager is locked up. In the other, a zombie growls at you. With the provided potions and apples, players can either return the zombie to the land of the living or open his cage and let him eat the villager. Number 6. The Witches of Minecraft Will Terrify You Swamps, in contrast to some of Minecraft's more uncommon biomes, are very prevalent. These semi-aquatic costs, like forest biomes, come in a variety of sizes and rarely include anything unusual. However, if you happen to come across an apparently abandoned house in the middle of a swamp, you might want to reconsider entering it. If the strange chuckle from beyond the walls wasn't enough to scare you away, the threat of death may. Swamp huts are squat buildings that can be seen in swamps. They may not be as imposing as a wooded house, but they pose just as many dangers. Witches and their black cats call these swamp homes home. Number 7. An Inexplicable Gathering of Creepy Animals 
Not all of M and Necraft's horrors are zombies and scary constructions. Even the simplest things have the ability to frighten you. Consider the scene that Redditor Afnanifids captured on their map one day. For no apparent reason, all of Afnanifidzi's animals chose to go on a sightseeing tour of his village to the same location. The animals gathered at the edge of a cliff and simply stared out over the vastness. Afnanifidz shared his photo on Reddit to share the unsettling experience and check if anybody else had witnessed the same thing. It would be difficult to stage this photo because getting your Minecraft creatures to get where you want them to in the first place is challenging enough. Number 8 The Endermen are the creepiest creatures of Minecraft. The Endermen are one of the most mysterious and persistently frightening creatures in Minecraft. Though there have been numerous speculations regarding what these creatures perform in their backstories, no official confirmation of their mission has been made. These tall, shadowy figures resemble Slenderman, a creepypasta character who is one of modern horror fiction's deadliest inventions. Endermen are the only other creatures who can pick up blocks except the player. They are frequently seen stealing items from your home while speaking in a garbled and terrifying language. While Endermen are described as a neutral mob who won't attack players unless provoked, they are easily triggered. You can avoid attacking an Enderman, but if you look at one of these long-limbed creatures for too long, they'll become threatened and attack you. This process can only be described as terrifying. The Enderman will unhinge its jaw and teleport after you as it tries to kill you. And while other mobs in Minecraft can be easily pacified by running away, an Enderman will chase you until you die or they are distracted by another enemy or threat. Number 9. Phantoms haunt you when you forget to sleep in Minecraft. With all of the in-game horrors of Minecraft, some players may be surprised that one of the biggest antagonists for their blocky avatar is a real-world horror, Insomnia. If a player in Minecraft hasn't slept for several virtual days, a creature called a phantom will spawn at night to hunt them down. Phantoms are said to be attracted to insomnia and to act violently as a result of their obsession. Players will almost certainly hear a phantom before seeing it. Because this mob spawns at such a high height, it's easy to miss them as they circle overhead, waiting to strike your unwary character. However, the unsettling sounds they make are frequently the first sign that you're in trouble. While standard methods can be used to kill phantoms, their ability to fly makes them difficult to hit. The greatest approach to avoid these frightening night flyers is to obtain enough sleep on a regular basis. In fact, coping with most horrors should be done in this manner. Number 10. Shipwrecks and the Drowned are pretty intense for Minecraft. Recently, new advances in Minecraft's underwater content have been made. The limitless stretches of ocean hold both thrilling and terrifying new mobs and buildings. While underwater combat is improving, the presence of these now common creatures has made salvaging shipwrecks more challenging. Even so, discovering a shipwreck in Minecraft is thrilling. Players are aware that there will be several treasure boxes on board, and the prospect of discovering a treasure map is enough to make most players abandon their previous activities. However, the sight of a massive wooden structure submerged might be unsettling. The sight alone is unsettling, but the chance of encountering the submerged horde known as the Drowned only adds to the fear. These zombie-like monsters may pursue you alone or in groups, making combat with them much more challenging. When the shipwreck is so far beneath the surface that you've used up all of your oxygen on a one-way trip, the danger is amplified. What other scary things do you think that one can do in Minecraft? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the post notification for more lit videos. See you next time.